so at the end of the year, every year, we kind of take our time, really get into, like, we videotape the strokes and we try to get that uh, taken care of um, so that we can fix any little things that maybe went awry during the summer. Uh, we don't really do big wholesale changes because we want to make sure that their stroke is their stroke, that's what they did to get here. So we just try to make sure that they're really good. Uh, we use our senior class as our captains, um, so it's more of a council than it is like captains. Uh, we're actually, you know, leadership down, right, from this, from me and then the coaches and then seniors and down. But everybody has a stake in the team, so we ask everybody to lead. Uh, so if you see something, say something, you think somebody needs to work harder, ask them that. Uh, make sure you're keeping everybody accountable. And that's the only way a whole team can move forward is if everybody is invested and has some say in the leadership and what we're doing. So that's what we really try to do every year. But I think they're doing a good job, and we definitely have some uh, freshmen that have uh, a good chance to do some good stuff this year. We do goal meetings uh, both in the fall and in the spring. Uh, and so the spring is really more about like, hey, what are you going to do in the summer to be ready for the fall? Um, so that's a little bit more loose uh, in what they're doing. Uh, and then here in the fall, we sit down and we have a, actually a goal sheet that we do. And the swimmers have a split sheet as well. So they kind of can see what they're supposed to be doing in practice. Um, it could be hard because there's 29 girls. Um, but trying to get them to understand where they need to be and asking them. And, and then throughout the time is sort of a refocus at practice. Like, hey, remember you said you wanted to do this and you're supposed to be doing this many kicks off the wall. Let's make sure we're doing it. And just kind of refocusing it on that almost almost every day. It's not hitting every girl every day, but making sure that they're kind of keeping to their what they said they want to do. When we first come in, the first thing we have to do is we have to adjust everyone back to using the equipment here. Everyone's been at home, they've been in different climates, they've been in different situations. Some people dive outside, some people dive inside. So the first thing we have to do is make sure that they're getting acclimated to wherever we are. Well, I think definitely we are on track to do the same thing that we've done in the past. We are known nationally for our voluntary skills, so the easier dives. Um, the voluntaries are the front one and a half, the back dive, the inward dive, the reverse dive, and some kind of a simple twister. That's what creates national champions. You have to have the skills in that area, and you have to be able to consistent in that area. On the national level, we've had like extreme success on the national level. Meaning that we have had, last year we had five divers in the national championship, um, both one meter and three meter. We put two people in the A final, we put two people in the B final on three meter, and three people in the B final on one meter. So we've got a handle on that, but repeating that is always a challenge because you know every year things change a little bit. Other teams know what we can do. They know that they've got to kind of live up to our standard. We scored the most points last year over any other team in the country. We have to slowly develop ourselves and make sure that we're keeping that as our eye on the prize. So we have uh, Loyal in New Orleans and Thomas University and so they're going to come in and obviously they're, uh, I think they're both NAIA schools. Uh, it's a little different uh, there as far as Division II versus NAIA. Uh, but they have men and women, so there'll be some men's competition too, which is nice that everybody gets to see that. And also it's a little bit more of a break in between for the girls. Most of our meets are, are more about um, sort of rehearsal for the big meets at the end when we're really resting and stuff. Uh, because we don't have to qualify off of our record, we qualify off our individual times. So that's really more the focus is making sure they're doing the right thing, taking care of their bodies, uh, we're really working hard as, as far as racing and getting behind each other and having a good team uh, spirit and obviously good sportsmanship as well. The other two teams do not have divers in this particular situation, but we will still be doing our exhibition. And during our exhibition, we're going to start challenging ourselves towards that end of the goal season. So we're gonna have uh, most of our divers on low board. We'll be doing four of our optionals. That would be the flippy dives. Then we're gonna be doing two voluntaries. In some cases, the divers are gonna to choose to do more than that and challenge themselves further. On high board, we're gonna be doing mostly skill dives. So people that wanna come in and watch us, they're gonna see a little bit of everything. A little bit of the skills that we're trying to still work on and focusing on on the high board. Then they're gonna see a lot of the other uh, more challenging fun dives on the low board. So we'd love to see everyone come out and support us.